welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some breath work. This fire is not hot, it's just for the look of things. Because it's 90 degrees outside here in LA, so we're not putting no fire on for fun. Don't forget guys, before we get into this, get the April workout calendar, click the link down below, sign up after the video of course, and let's get started. So at first I want to talk about different types of breathing work, breath work, and what you can use them for. Types of breath work I use. First, we're going to do shallow breath work. So, kind of like giving birth. I don't know, never been there. Hopefully, don't do that. We're going to do the. This is for when you're kind of having like a crying attack. You know, girls are more relatable to this. <laughs> Maybe guys too, but I've never seen a guy having a crying attack. So, you want to do shallow breaths. It's like one, two in, and then one long out. And this just brings you, brings your heart rate down, brings your mind back to center. That's one way to do a breath work. I, there's another one here that's just in and out, big and long and slow. It's like. This is really helpful when you're mad. All my people with road rage right here, you can use this technique. One big breath in one long breath out this really helps with the anger the other one helps if you're like being hysterical like you can't get control of yourself now this other one and this is the last one i'm going to show you guys this one right here has helped me tremendously this will help you get control of your thoughts slow down your heart rate slow down your thoughts and just get it together okay i'm going to tell you a quick story this was years ago like so many years ago i was on ecstasy am i going to get demonetized i was on Molly, E, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and I don't do that stuff anymore, so it doesn't matter. I can talk about it. I don't care. I was freaking out, okay? I went out with my friends. We had a great time. We were drinking. I took one, and we were just doing our thing in Huntington Beach. This was my beachy days. I had a panic attack. So my friend left that night. She went home. I don't know how she drove. No, she got picked up by her boyfriend. She left. My sister came home. I was living with my sister at the time. I swear, I'm like the little sister in our relationship. She's younger than me, but she's way more mature. And she's like, what the hell are you doing? You know, you da 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 da. And I had like, you know, some things to figure out at the time. And she goes, you know, this is really not good. You gotta stop. And she started yelling at me. Well, I was still rolling. <laughs> I was still doing my thing and then she left so now I'm alone I have all these like intrusive thoughts because my mind is like not there regardless and I started having a legit panic attack now this hasn't only happened to me when I was on ecstasy but this story was really funny so I wanted to tell you guys and what I did was I did one breathe in hold it for five seconds one two three four five and let it out and I did that like 35 times and it went away and then I sobered up because I was freaked out you know how that happens somebody comes and kills your high so I was sober now and the breath work really got me back to center so there's three techniques that I personally use and I'm sure there's a lot of different techniques there's probably a lot of videos here on YouTube about breath work these three I have used and they work for me so the first one is a shallow one and this is all in the mouth. There's no nose here. Then you have the one big the immediate exhale, and then you have the and then the exhale, so the whole exhale. Now, personally, not a fan of needles, so every time I go get my blood drawn, I did a vitamin bag when I was in Florida. I went to Florida recently for a business conference. It was awesome. You guys know that, I think I shared with you. If not, now you know. And I did a vitamin bag and I'm like, I'm gonna face my fears. And yeah, I passed out. But I got it back together. Well, they gave me some alcohol and a banana or two. And then I kept my breathing right. And then I finished the treatment. Because who doesn't want their vitamins? But I just got this, you know, 
I gotta get mental toughness when it comes to needles. In fact, I went and got my blood drawn today and I did a really good job. Really good. I patted myself on the shoulder and I went in there. I had things on my mind. I'm like, I got things to do. Just get this over with. And then I talked to the girl while she was doing her thing. I didn't look over there and it was awesome. But this is not about needles or am I doing ecstasy? This is about breath work. So now we're gonna do some breath work and I just want you to pay attention to the way you're feeling before and the way that you feel after. We're gonna choose the third technique, which is the whole technique, and we're gonna do 10 reps of that and just sit here in silence or there in silence and just breathe. I'm gonna remove the microphone so you don't hear me breathing so loudly in the video. And we're gonna start here with the first one. Breathe in three seconds, hold it for five, breathe out for three. You count it in your head. Let's get started on the first one. Do you feel? I'll tell you what I feel. I feel I have more energy. My energy levels went up. My brain slowed down. My body feels more relaxed. I don't have this, you know, shoulder feeling. Sometimes when I work a lot, I'm sure a lot of people have the same feeling. When you work a lot, you get like this. Well, for me, I'm like focused and I'm like, like my shoulders just slowly. <laughs> You go up. I feel like that's gone. I have this great energy in my body. My head is nice and free from thoughts. And I just feel good. I feel relaxed. Now, I use this technique when I'm having panic attacks. If I need to clear my thoughts, if I'm having some negative, intrusive thoughts, if I have a lot on my plate as a woman, we have a lot to do during the day. And sometimes you want to shift your energy from being so masculine and driven on your goals to more girly, slowed down, fun, feminine, to be chill. This is a great breathing technique you can use to get back to that. The long one, the big one, pull that right there, will save you from some anger, some rage, some mean text messages, whatever it is. And then the shallow breath of course while you're giving birth but that's another stop <laughs> that's another topic never done that and I'm probably sure that's not the right way to do it for that moment but it does help you especially if you're crying or you're sad and you can't get it together sometimes you just have this overflow of emotion and you just want to cry and you can't breathe and there's snot falling out of your face and you just need to get it together so the short little breath really does help to bring you down bring the emotions down put some oxygen in the mind and get back to center. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed these breath work techniques. I hope you use them in any situation to make yourself feel good, chill out. If you're ready to work out now, I'm ready to kick your butt. I'll leave a workout here on the screen. Don't forget, guys, like this video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to train with me every day. And I'll see you guys in the workouts. Bye.